Hey there guys, we are back in Hollywood and we're at the most fun, funnest, fun place on earth, the Funko Hollywood shop. I'm so excited to be back. Uh, we're actually gonna stop by just for a little bit. We've been here two times before and it was always really, really cool, but we will definitely want to stop by and see maybe what other new stuff they have. It's always cool to come over and see what exclusives they have or what kind of restocks, but I know we just check out the rooms. They have great ones. So let's head inside and uh, get hunting here at the Funko Hollywood shop. And we are inside. Check this out. I always love coming in here. And right in the front, they are ready for the holiday season. They have all of the brand new Marvel gingerbread pops. So Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, Black Panther, Captain Marvel. And they got some of the older ones like uh, Thanos and Cap Snowman and they even have the eight pop vinyl case they have them on display for you can buy it right here for $50 they also have one of the new it looks like Walmart exclusive Hallmark Funko ornaments here is Groot surprised they have it here if it's gonna be a Walmart one they also have some other new Disney pops and like clown flies here for the holidays, we got Eeyore. We actually just picked up an Eeyore recently. Tigger, Daisy, and Donald Duck there as well. So definitely some cute stuff to get into the holiday spirit. And they got this cool photo opportunity where you can go in the middle of this Funko Pop box. And they got Gingerbread Scarlet Witch. Last time I was here, I think they had Seinfeld because they recently put out all the Seinfeld pops. But now they got Gingerbread Scarlet Witch. Over here in front of the Marvel section, it looks like I got in all of the new Eternals pops, which is cool. Just a few weeks after the movie came out, so they got the big 10 inch RHM, Kingo, Makari, Sprite, Dane, Crow, Icarus. They got the whole gang here, and they even got this really cool Funko t shirt that I like a lot. And over in the awesome Marvel room, they do actually have some exclusives over here. So they do have this Funko Shop exclusive Venomized Kingpin. I didn't order it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it today. They also have this really cool Venomized Iron Man that I really, really like. This is a reprint. I think it came out in like 2019, 2020. And now they're restocking that. And they also are restocking this Scream symbiote, which, you know, it might actually be worth picking up. I'm not sure if I am gonna get it. And then they also have this glow in the dark zombie Wolverine. I think this is like an Entertainment Earth exclusive but it is with the uh, special edition sticker. And they also have it right next to that zombie uh, Wolverine, the 10 inch from Walmart. One of the most recent Funko Shop exclusives that was released on Black Friday is his 18 inch Iron Man. And they have actually plenty of them here in the store. And here is a look out of the box. When we get home and we get ours, we'll definitely check it out. But here, look how massive that pop is compared to just a regular pop 18 inches, that is huge. Over in the Disney section, they actually have quite a few newer pops. Here, it's not brand new. We actually have unboxed before. It is the Funko Shop exclusive Ultimate Disney Princess Pocahontas. And then they also have the Pocahontas down here with Nico. I actually do have these ordered from Hot Topic, but they were delayed. So I'm not gonna pick these one up, but they have these cool t-shirts too. I do really like the design on that t-shirt, Colors of the Wind, definitely very, very cool. They also have Moana right here on the other side. Now there are supposed to be two other pops from this line, or three other pops rather, Snow White, Rapunzel, and Cinderella. No sign of them here though, but they do have these two. They also did get in some of the new Disney Sword in the Stone pops. So here's the convention exclusive from NYCC. Arthur pulling Excalibur, we do already have that one. We have Merlin with Archimedes, Madame Mim, here's Arthur, and then here is uh, Madame Mim as a dragon. This one's a chase, of course, no chase hanging around here. And then they also have a Disney park section, so they have a lot of the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary ones. The only one I don't see here is Mickey with the castle, but they have the Pipes of the Caribbean dog, Goofy on the Dumbo, Mickey Mouse at Space Mountain. We actually got all these in. And then they also have the Pirate Skeleton Parks exclusive one. So this one you can only, only find either shopdisney.com or in the park itself. But now they're getting it here at the Funko Shop. 
Came over to the other side of the Disney section and we did find a lot more of these Disney Princess Pops. So here is Snow White. They also have some of the new NYCC exclusive ones around here. This one is a Jasmine. Comes with the pop pin and that gold sticker. And here's a couple other ones from that previous gold line with Tiana and Ariel. And then down here, here's Cinderella. So it looks like the only one they're missing is going to be Rapunzel, the best one. And over in the DC room, we have some Batman exclusive pops over here. So they actually have some of the Batman Day ones. So here's the Batman Day art series, that black and gray one that I really like. They also have the Funko Hollywood exclusive art series one as purple and green. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna get it. Cause I already have that one. It's not too much different. Um, I mean, the color and design is a little bit different, but I'm not sure I might get it just for the sticker. They also have the Joker King and they also have over here, here is the Batman soda t-shirt that looks super cool. I really like the design and the colors on that one. And over on this wall, I did notice on the bottom, they do have the Funcon exclusive Martian Manhunter from the DC Imperial Palace series. They actually have a ton of them. Over in the Harry Potter area, they, it looks like they actually got a good amount of older restocks back in. So actually right over here, they have Harry Potter in Soaring Hat. They have uh, Harry Potter with the broom stick, and then they also have Harry Potter with two wands. So I'm not, I think they're all kind of restocks, I believe. Yeah, because they don't have the Wizarding World logo on top. But they also have the newer ones over here where they have Harry, they carry with the stone, Hermione, and Ron Weasley. And then up here are some of the new deluxe Harry Potter figures. So here is Harry Potter pushing Charlie. And then also Harry Potter with the Hogwarts letters, which is a cool little Funko shop exclusive. And then right over here, I also saw they have another restock of a Barnes & Noble exclusive with a special edition sticker. Here's Jenny Weasley with the Quidditch broom. Over in the Pixar section, they have a few cool new things and some older favorites. But one thing I saw here on top was the Glow in the Dark Barnes & Noble exclusive 22 from Soul. That was cool to see. And one that I did not order when it came out but I'm definitely need to pick up now is Doug with headphones from Doug Days. They actually have the entire Doug Days line right here. Came over to the sports section and I saw they have a mix of some of the newer sports pops that they put out. So here's some of the new mascots, including Sebastian and the Oregon Duck and the Hook'em Horn from Texas. They also have some of the new NBA pops like Donovan Mitchell, Nikola Jokic. Uh, Trey Young, no, Trey Young is an older one. Jimmy Butler is new. Jamal Murray is new. John Wall, even though he's probably not going to play for the team. And uh, Gordon Hayward. And then down here, they have some of the new Funko Gold. And I think all these Funko Golds actually come with a chase. I didn't see any there, but here is a big LeBron. And then the smaller Le LeBron over here, too. And over here, they have some of the exclusives. They actually have the New York Comic Con shared exclusives right here on not all of them but they do have a few different ones like that really cool ang from avatar less airbender play-doh pete and the cheddar goblin from mandy welcome to the grogu macy's thanksgiving day parade section two entire shelves filled with sweatshirts mugs pops all different stuff um bags even shirts of Grogu. It was really cool seeing him during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And here's a closer look at the pop. This is the first time I've seen it in person. You can really only get it on Funko.com, here in the Funko shop, or I believe in the Herald Square at the Macy's in New York City. And welcome to my favorite room in the entire store, the Star Wars room. They have lots of really cool pops all around here from Star Wars. Over here, they actually have the uh, Battle at Echo Base Chewbacca. This is the flocked one. It seems like this might have been the hardest one to get. It might be restocking those, so keep an eye out for it. Here is the Valentine's Day Chewbacca. It's the only one in that line that they have. Here's Dagobah Yoda, so an older one pop that they've reprinted too. They have a lot of the concept series like Han Solo, Yoda, R2, C-3PO, Stormtrooper, along with the concept series Stormtrooper with the lightsaber up there. And over on this side, they have a lot of pocket pops like the Child, Mando, Bob Gideon, which is really cool to see. But one thing I noticed, 
they have some of the new book of Boba Fett pops. So here's Boba Fett and Fennish Sean. So that's really awesome to get. I might have to pick these up. They do have Fennish Sean here from The Mandalorian, but look at the coloring on this box. I mean, look at the coloring on that suit. I think I'm definitely gonna have to get Boba Fett. Possibly Fennish Sean. You know what, probably get both because I gotta have the set, right? Back in the horror section, they have a lot of the Ghostbusters pops, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Here's the new Funko Shop exclusive mini puffed with weights. I definitely have to get that one. I did not order it. Uh, I actually did not order a lot of these because they weren't available a lot of places. So I got that one. I'm definitely getting that one. The cocktail umbrella. There's the in with the lighter mini puff on fire as well. Definitely really cute. Here's Peter Venkman, the Walmart exclusive him with all of the goo on him. And it looks like here on the bottom, here's uh, Mr. Grubison and Phoebe from the new Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I almost walked out of the section, so I noticed this. This is the Haunted Mansion Victor Geist. He is the ghost piano player, or organ player rather, from the Haunted Mansion. This is a parks exclusive, Disney Parks exclusive. We got this one last year, I believe. And it is uh, definitely hard to find. You can't find it anywhere else. So the fact that they got it here at the Funko Shop is really interesting. So if you are near the Funko Shop, make sure you stop by. See if you can get yours, because I think this one's worth like 50, 60 bucks. I was looking around over at like the Funko TV section over here, and I noticed something that doesn't quite fit in with the TV section, but I thought it was actually really interesting that it was here. Here is the movie's mascot. It's actually part of the ad icon slash movies, but movie's mascot. This is from FunCon, so the fact they have them actually hidden away over here in the TV section is really cool. It's actually right next to the movie section, so I guess maybe that's why it's over here. But definitely really cool to see that. Uh, but nothing else that's really crazy over here. Uh, they do have the uh, John Wick over here, which I do love that one. I actually do have that in my collection. Uh, some of the Lord of the Rings and some of the newer Goonies Pops too. Stop over in the really cool animation section, which is always awesome to come into. Over here, they have a lot of My Hero Academia Pops, Deku, Ijiro, Amigo Toga's down there too. Over here, they have some of the One Piece Pops. So there's Tony, Tony Chopper, The Common, Vinsmoke, and a big restock of Usopp. So I know a lot of people have been looking forward to the restock of these One Piece Pops. So here's Usopp. Looks like they got a little bit of restock of the Thundar the Barbarian Pops. This is from ECC, uh, Emerald City Comic Con uh, 2021. So they have a lot of them. They actually have all of them here, as I think Olaf was behind, yeah. Ulock the Mock is right behind there too. So they have all three on the shelf. And they have some of the games one. So a lot of Fortnite, I think a lot of these were here last time. Here's uh, some of the new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. They actually have Samurai Jack here on the top. They do have a chase, but no chase here today for Jack Armor. But here's the Funko Shop exclusive Shredder, the glow in the dark. That one's always super cool. Here's Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo. Brazar, here's the common super shredder and token down on the bottom too. And over in the back corner, they have a lot of the new Cartoon Network pops. So here's Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory with Dee Dee, Johnny Bravo, Curse the Cowardly Dog, Princess Bubblegum, Cow, Blossom, and then they also have Boo and Eduardo from Foster's Hope for Magic Friends that came out earlier this year. And over here in like the Rick and Morty or slash adult animation section, because they also have solar opposites, which is great. They have this really cool Rick and Morty blacklight t-shirt that I have not seen anywhere before. Look at that, that is sick. And they have a few of them here. It looks like mostly larger sizes, though I only see extra large here. So unfortunately I won't be able to get it since it's not my size, but that is a really nice black light t-shirt. Came to check out the music section. They have some newer music ones over here, including the new DJ Khaled, which is pretty cool, where he has the Jordans on. Here is a newer Jimi Hendrix. Here is more Josh from 21 Pilots. I see up here, they have the Funko Shop exclusive Jimi Hendrix. I also got that one in recently. Here's the new TLC Pops and Boys to Men. Right next door, they actually have a lot of the uh, armed forces. So they have Marines, the Army Soldier, uh, the Navy Sailor, and a whole, and then I think a Marine Airman down here too. So they have a lot of those military Pops here at the Funko Shop as well. And now we come into the best room in the entire one, saving it for last, the Saturday morning cartoon room. I always love coming to this one. So many cool 
characters in here, some of my favorites, like Huckleberry Hound over here. And so here on the first section, it looks like they have some really awesome Scooby-Doo t-shirts, Meddling Kids Mystery Inc. And then they also have a smaller Scooby-Doo shirt where it says Rut Row. Here we go, the case of the Creepy Caper. Those are great ones. Looks like over here we got Invest Inspector Gadget on skates at Funko Shop exclusive from last year. Looks like they have a couple exclusive, uh, convention exclusives. Professor Pat Pending from 2019 Fall Convention exclusive. And then Danger Mouse uh, from Funcon earlier this year. And up here in the front, they have some more of the icons at icons in the Saturday Morning Cartoons room. So right here, here's the Frankenberry Funko Shop exclusive cereal pop. They also got Count Chocula right beneath. There is that third one, Boo Bear, which has not been released yet for some reason. Here's Smaxy the Seal. Here's this one is a Funcon exclusive as well. They got a 10 inch Captain Crunch. And then over here, they have the Funko Shop and Lucky Charms. We were able to get that earlier this year. Uh, Fruity Pebbles. And then Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble with, with the Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles. One thing I noticed over here at the Pop Factory, this is where you would come previously to make your own Funko Pop. They actually updated a little bit. A lot. When we came last time, they were doing it in the back of Saturday Morning Cartoons. But now you actually do it in the front where you can use these kiosks to design your own Funko Pop. I assume the rest of the uh, process is going to be the same, but now you can do it right at a touch screen instead of having to fill it out with a piece of paper. So we just checked out, and first off, I got some pops. Look at these awesome new bags I got for the holidays. That's a great color. I love that bag. But while we were checking out, we were very, very close to actually getting a deal where they have their Cyber Week. So we got three sodas. We're actually gonna go ahead and open all three of these sodas up now. So we got Beast Boy. This is 10,000 pieces from Teen Titans. We got the international one. It is a Klondike hat from Underdog. That's 3,500 pieces. And then we got Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. 12,500 pieces. Let's go ahead and open up these. Let's start with Mad Hatter. Hope we get a chase. That would be amazing luck. If we got chase, we're opening up in the Funko shop. If not, I'm going to ask for a return. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. All right. Let's not look at the pog. And I don't even know what the chase is. Don't even know what the chase is. But it's not the chase. It is a common here. Matt Hatter, still a really awesome figure. Oh, really cool. I love that. And let me take a look at what the pog is. And there's the Pog, you have Mad Hatter on one side, and it is one out of 10,500. So it would already be hard to get that chase. So we did not get the chase here this time. Let's go on to number two. We'll go and open up Beast Boy, as this is 10,000 pieces. We'll go down the line from highest number to lowest number. Beast Boy. Again, not looking at the pog. Oh, I think this one's metallic, I believe, is the chase. And, uh, I don't think so. I do not, no, I don't see any metallic. I don't think you guys do either. But still, very cool. It's kind of like a grown up Teen Titans Beast Boy. Really cool, little earrings there. Awesome. It's a good one to add to the collection for sure. But let's open up the third one. Now this is the international one. So it's limited to 3,500 pieces. I think normally it's like 8,000 or 10,000 for the domestic one. So hopefully because it's more limited, we'll have a better chance at a chase. So let's see what we got on this one. And this one is blocked, I believe. And look at that, we got a chase. We got a chase, we got a flock clon clon that cat that is so cool. And this one we actually got last because uh, we were so close, we were just one off from needing to get the deal where we saved $40. And so we picked that one up and we found the chase, it's limited to one out of 600. And here's the back of the pog. 
it's actually white and it pointed out to us that um here at the funko shop it pointed out to us that the uh the colors are flipped so it's normally i think red on the back but now it is white if you have the uh chase and it does say that little international one there so that's awesome that we we're able to get the chase one out of three that's a win right here at the funko shop but definitely always fun coming here to the funko shop have a blast got some awesome pops we'll show the pops that we got a little bit later we'll do a separate video for that but we were given the idea to open up right here encouraged by our friends at the funko shop so we did it and i definitely want to thank them for letting us do this within the funko hollywood shop but for everything we saw today make sure you guys let us know in the comments what were some of your favorite things that you saw uh, have you guys been to the Funko Shop recently? This is our third time this year and it's always been a blast. So hope you guys can come here, check it out. I say it's the most funnest place on earth, I guess you can say. But make sure that you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as always. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again real soon.